In update 6.11, you can earn Ephemer 11 Divine Codes to spend on a new batch of common manuals. You can use them for mergers, but we'll be going over what kind of skills you can grab from them and how to inherit them best. First up, the 5 star common manuals cost 300 Ephemer each, and this month we have Ninja Navarre representing the Ninja crew. He has some very nice skills, including his Ninja Yari plus Lance, but sadly other units will not be dual wielding them. The first year of Ninja Brave Weapons granted plus 4 speed in exchange for minus 4 defense and res. Unlike this year, they are player-based brave weapons only. While this is a fun weapon to grab for quad attacking builds, don't confuse it with the Ninja Nagi Nada Plus from Ninja Melkorn from the second Ninja group. That weapon does not grant bonus speed, but you don't lose speed, and instead you're going to get bonus true damage the more you outspeed the enemy. You need to outspeed by 8 or more to get the max plus for true damage per hit, and that's a decent amount of damage over Ninja Yari considering you're hitting twice. Ninja Yari is fun, but the Nagi Nada does deserve a look at, and Ninja Melkorn is the 4 star focus of his banner. As an example, Fallen Dimitri is probably one of the more popular users of these Ninja Lances because his unique B skill gives him Fire Sweep, and he's fast too, plus you get Kanto. Fire Sweep Brave fits with quad potential is fun, but that Dimitri may prefer the Nagi Nada for the extra damage. That leads us into Navarre's other skills such as Flash and Blade 4. Either Ninja Brave Lance works with it, and you get 5 true damage with your special charging. With the Nagi Nada, you stack its true damage on top for 9 per hit, and that can work with Gilfer's type builds if you can get an extra special charge somehow. The Ninja Yari gives you that little extra speed which you can win uh, when you that stat check, and another use could be for on dodge B skills. You can get Flash and Blade 4 with Ninja Yari since Summer Ogre has the tier 3 as a heroic grail unit, add Moombo as well if you want. The other skill inheritance option you got is Flash and Blade 4 and Low Speed and Defense 3. Great for extra offensive power by neutralizing field buffs. You can use that with the other Ninja Brave weapons if you're not using a Lance. Overall, Ninja Navar is definitely the top pick for this month, you got some fun skills for faster units. Next up we have Yuen, and hopefully he's channeling his super trainee power when he gets refined because man he's not that amazing as a 5 star unit. Besides Duo Ephraim, they kind of shafted the other units on that Sacred Stones banner in terms of skills. I'm going to pick up this common manual just for the free merge, but I would not recommend spending 300 Ephraim otherwise. The only noteworthy skill from Yuen is Sabotage Speed 3, which is on 3 5 star only units. If they ever made Sabotage Deeples into Sacred Seals, you can probably forget about using the B skill version. As for Swiss Dance 2, you can get it from 4 star Tatiana now, plus they only ever put Swiss Dance 3 on a single unit. Speed and Rest Form is arguably better as well. As for the Serpent Tome, this has Distant Defense 3 for plus 6 Defense Res against ranged foes when they initiate. Valentine's Henriette's Unity Blooms is just straight better. And for free to play Tomes, the Vulture Tome grants minus 5 attack debuffs when you're solo. We really need some Arcane Tomes to roll in because the Inheritable options are few, and most of them are not very inspiring. Moving on to the 4 star manuals for 100 Ephemer each. First is our Tempest Trials unit, Bridal Lorem. I think keeping at least one copy of her is worth it as a dancer, so this common manual could be a decent value. At 4 stars, Lorem offers attack Cantrip 3, which inflicts minus 7 attack debuffs on the nearest foe within 4 spaces after you dance them. Generally speaking, this isn't a bad skill. You can dance an ally and they can go fight the debuffed enemy, or you can just wait for them to attack first. However, Wings of Mercy is still insanely good and cheap to go in that B slot for dancers. Now, at 5 stars, Larm has Guidance 3. While it is a Sacred Seal, the Seal Skill version is still very hard to come by, and Larm is your free to play option for it. Flyers can opt for something like Reigns or Holds in the C slot, then you can put Guidance as a Sacred Seal. Put Guidance in the C slot though, and you can run things like Forms or Catch skills. For her weapon, Larm has the Bridal Sunflower Plus. This grants plus 5 attack and defense and has bonus doubler for attack and defense only. It works above 25% HP, which makes it easy to use, and you just need more field buffs to activate bonus doubler. Very simple stat stick, and Ninja Har has brought us more attack and defense oath for self buffing. If you spent Ephemera on the 4 star manuals, then Bridal Larm is worth getting. For our recent returning demo, we have Comb. He comes with 5 skills to inherit, which is unusual for a non premium unit, and that's because one of those skills is not very good at all. At 4 stars, you can get Pivot or Moomba, which are fine for whoever, but Attack and Speed plus 2 is not even budget level, it's more like Poverty tier, and I would just say use Fury 3 if you really want more Attack and Speed. At 5 stars, Comb has Attack and Res Link 3, but Orochi and Vantine Satania have it at 4 stars if you really want it. You then have the Quick Dagger Plus, which grants minus 2 cooldown to start the fight, and that's it. Not bad for getting to a fast special or proc lethality, but this weapon grants no other benefits. It's also the same as Hot Springs Camilla's Dagger, and she's a Grail unit. Combs Fodder is pretty meh, but at least he's a unique class type for a demon if you wanted a blue dagger unit. Luckily, I finished my plus 10 comb earlier this year.
Our third unit is Ferdinand von Eyre. At four stars, you can get the best go in the game, Reposition. You also have Fortress Defense 3, which isn't that amazing unless you absolutely need flat defense stats. At five stars, Rouse Speed and Defense 3 is pretty nice for solo self-buffing. Pretty good option for Cavaliers and Infantry running catch or solo builds. We just got Speed and Defense catch as a seal to match it. For his weapon, the Vanguard Plus grants plus seven defense on the enemy phase. If only there were a lance that worked on either phase, it may be sacrificed some defense for plus five attack, and then it had bonus doubler for attack and defense. I would probably go with that weapon instead. Our last two common manuals are launch units who probably are only worth grabbing for near players if you really need a skill for whatever reason. Since you just got some dual phase brave weapons, maybe Lazlo should have been on the banner. His refine gave him that cool dual phase brave hits with a full 60 my weapon, and he doesn't sacrifice all his speed either. Now for skills, at 4 stars you can get Noontime and Axe Breaker 3. You can use that to quad Axe units with Ninja Har or his Wyvern Katana. At 5 stars you can get Home Speed 3, but that's on other 4 star units. You can also just get the Silver Sword Plus, the most OP weapon in the game. Last up is Camilla, non ninja fight. Maybe she could use that new Arcane Axe. At 4 stars, you can get Draconic Aura and Savage Blow 3, which still has its uses for AoE chip damage. At 5 stars, you got Darting Blow 3, but that's on a lot of other 4 star units, so don't spend it on that. You then got the regular Brave Axe Plus, but if you wanted to trade some defense or defense and res for speed or damage, then we have two Ninja Brave Axes on Ninja Hana or Shamir in the Hero Grail pool. Generally, I would suggest now using those instead. That'll be it for this month's Ephemera Common Manuals. Generally, I would recommend everyone grab Navarre for his Lance or Flashing Blade 4 or Low Speed and Defense. Yuen might get a refine relatively soon, probably still far out, but Sabotage Speed is his only standout fodder here. I may pick him up just for the merge. Good luck getting all your Ephemera for this month, and do spend last month's Ephemera before it's gone. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.